So you guys know how important Wi-Fi can be in your house, it can make or break your smart home. Asus decided to send me their latest Wi-Fi routers to check out. I was super excited. So this guy is the RT AXE7800 router. This has a 2.5 gigabit backbone. So you can support up to 2.5 gigabits internet speed. Now I don't have anything like that, but I have set up a server on my Mac Studio over here where we can do some Wi-Fi test to see how fast this thing can actually go. It's also got Wi-Fi 6E. Now the thing about Wi-Fi 6E is, it's very similar to the Wi-Fi 6 standard. In general, Wi-Fi runs on like 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. Wi-Fi 6E allows for a 6 gigahertz channel as well, which allows you to get even higher speeds and those speeds will work really well at close range, maybe not so much at far range, but this thing has all three antennas in it, 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. So this one should give you really good performance when you're close by and really good performance when you're far away as well. One of the cool things about the Asus products is their AI mesh. All their modern routers kind of support this standard and you can take any Asus router and plug it into your network and it'll join the mesh. So I've got some more Asus routers to check out. This one is the Asus AX6000 gaming router which has a dedicated port to plug into your console. And what that thing is going to do is it's going to give your maximum bandwidth to that port. So it's going to prioritize that device over anything else to give you really smooth gaming performance. And I've also got the RTAX59U over here, which is their more budget friendly uh, kind of extender. And it's going to give you really good performance on the AI mesh as well. So let's check out all these products. Let's see how they perform. I'm really curious to check out Wi-Fi 6E. So even the current latest iPhone 14 Pro doesn't support Wi-Fi 6E, but the rumors are next year and the iPhone 15 coming in a couple of months, it's going to have Wi-Fi 6E. The only device that I have that supports Wi-Fi 6E right now is the M2 iPad Pro. In the coming months, we're gonna have more devices supporting Wi-Fi 6E. So let's just see and compare what a Wi-Fi 6 device does on the Wi-Fi 6E network, what an iPad Pro M2 does on the Wi-Fi 6E, and let's just see how much speed we can try and get out of these devices. And then we'll check out the mesh technology as well and how easy it is all to set up. So let's check out the latest from Asus. I haven't opened up this guys yet. This is my first time trying it out with you guys. So let's have a look. So in the box, you've got this interesting design. It's like a hexagonal shape. We've got six antennas on it. We've got a power brick, Ethernet cable. So the setup of this is supposed to be pretty simple. So you have to download the Asus app and it gives you the support to set this up. So I'm just gonna power this up right now and let's see how easy the setup process is. All right, so while we're setting this up, let me just tell you some of the cool features on this thing. So most of the modern Asus routers have this AI mesh technology. They also have something called AI Protect, which uh, is a free service. I know a lot of routers charge you for that, but this one doesn't. And it kind of protects your network. It's got antivirus protection and other things. So it'll keep your network safe, which is really nice. I really, really like the design of this thing as well. It looks pretty cool. So here we've got the setup app. I'm clicking on setup and we're gonna choose Asus Wi-Fi router. And there is a way to scan it uh, to enable the camera, okay. Yep, we got it. You can set up separate SSIDs for 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, which can be useful sometimes. I'm just gonna set up a separate network for the six gigahertz so we can try that independently. So this was being super easy. So let's just look at the physical aspects real quick. So you get all these indicator lights over here which are gonna show you your internet connectivity, all the ports. And this has another interesting feature as well, where you can combine two of the ports to make them an even faster port. So the second port, which is a one gig port, and the third port, which is a one gig port as well, can be combined to make a two gigabit connection to a machine that supports it. So that is another really pro feature in this one. I think I'm almost done. It's just doing some optimization for the network. I think it's looking for other access points as well. One of the things that this needs to do is make sure it's not broadcasting its Wi-Fi in the same range as any other Wi-Fi, so it might interfere. I have another Wi-Fi running over here, so let's see how well it does in a crowded network environment. You can see the real-time traffic over here. <laughs> the interface is really cool. It's got like this space theme. 
really interesting. So we've got a bunch of features over here. It shows you your network topography, game mode. So this will actually give you live statistics about what your pings are like and things like that. Really interesting interface. Like Asus is known for their gaming stuff. So yeah, my internet looks pretty good. No packet loss, great diagnostics. So good optimization. That's cool. Good to know that my connection is great for gaming. Yeah, so let's let's just do a quick speed test with the internet. So as I suspected, my Wi-Fi network is a 500 MB download. And I've never seen speeds like this actually. 540, that's above what I'm supposed to get. 90 upload is about right for me. So that's really good. But now let me try my uh, Mac over there, which is set up as a server to do end-to-end -end network tests. So let's just do a quick test over there. Now, so I'm getting about 600, 600 Mbps, 820 Mbps upload. Like that is insane. I've never seen numbers like that. And that is on my iPhone. So my iPhone's not even a 6E device. So this has improved the speed compared to my regular home Wi-Fi for sure. On my regular home Wi-Fi, I get about 500, 450, something like that as download and about the same as upload this one has already given me a boost of over 100 MB, but that I'm right next to the router, but still we'll do a distance test as well very soon. I'm happy with that. Now let's check out my iPad and that's a 6C device. Let's see if that does any better. So here is something interesting, right? So I've got my iPhone 14 Pro over here. It doesn't show me the 6G network because this phone doesn't have Wi-Fi 6C. Here I see the 6G network. It says limited compatibility. I'm not sure why. Okay, that's fine, you know, because it says I'm on a separate network. Let's just do a quick speed test over here. I don't expect any different results because that's maxing out my internet connection as it is. So yeah, as expected, 535, 536. Oh, a little bit better. I'm actually getting almost 550 over here, which I don't even get over the wired connection, which is pretty nuts. Uh, yeah, uploads about 90, which is what I was expecting. But now let's do a speed test directly to my server over here, which should be a bit more interesting. All right, amazing. I'm getting less jitter and higher speeds now on the 6G connection. It's not a huge difference, but it is there. All right, I'm about 30 feet away from my router now. Let's just do a quick internet speed test over here. Usually this is the worst place. This is my kitchen area and this is the worst place where I get my Wi-Fi network. So, okay, I've never seen speeds like that over here. It's almost 200 MB down. 250, 300. Okay, that is extremely impressive for not being a mesh system. There's just one single router in my house and it's still giving me 350, about 30 feet away. This is the true torture test now. I'm in my washroom, which is more than 30 feet away and has three walls in between the concrete walls. So I never get signal over here. So let's see if it's still getting signal. It's still showing me a full connection. Um, let's just run a speed test real quick. Hmm. I think finally this router has also lost signal. This is a perfect scenario where you'd want to use a mesh. You really want to get your Wi-Fi signal in each and every place in the house, then you need a mesh system. So let's open up some of those other routers and see how well this thing performs. So honestly, some of the best performance I've seen from a single router, this thing reaches all the way in my living room, 30 feet away, gives me the full speed over there but my washroom is just a Wi-Fi dead zone. Like there's no way any Wi-Fi signal is reaching in there because there's just so many walls in between. This one is the RTAX59U. This is a Wi-Fi 6 only router. And with AI mesh, we should just be able to turn this on and plug it in and it should set up by itself. So let's do that. All right, setup process should be simple enough. Okay. Let's go to plus over here and add a AI mesh. 
and we should be done soon. The mesh technology is interesting, as I've said before, this extends your Wi-Fi without creating a separate SSID, meaning you still have only one name. Most of these modern devices are able to automatically understand where your phone is, which access point you're closest to, and it'll automatically connect to that one. I would suggest everyone to go for some kind of mesh technology in your house if you're looking for Wi-Fi. It makes a huge difference and it's undoubtedly going to give you the best range. Let's open the second router. This is the AX6000. So this one is a gaming router. Wow, this guy's a, a beefy one. And it's got some massive antennas on it. Wow, that is a pretty interesting design. Also six antennas. So this thing should be a beast. Ooh, funky lighting on this thing. <laughs> pretty cool. So here you get a very good representation of all your current meshes. So I have one hooked up already. So some interesting things about this particular router, it's got a USB 3.0 port, so you can plug your uh, hard disk directly into this and stream movies. It's also got a 2.5 gigabit backbone, and it also has a gaming dedicated port. So you want to plug your PS5 or Xbox or PC into this one. It's always going to prioritize this one and give it the lowest latency. So that's what the gaming router is all about. They have slightly better processors so that your packets aren't lost or your jitters aren't there. So it kind of controls all that using the AI on the system. All right, this guy's set up. Let's go put it in my bedroom and see if you get a better connection in my washroom. All right, guys, back in the dead zone in my washroom. I've added a mesh router now. Let's see how much speed we're getting, if we're getting any speed at all. I can already tell that we're getting full Wi-Fi strength. From getting nothing to getting 220 megabytes per second, more than that, 230. So, yeah, that's the power of the mesh, you know, it's it'll make sure that you have Wi-Fi in every single place in your house. So that's the latest range from ASUS. Pretty amazing stuff. We're getting fantastic performance out of these things. I love the fact that each and every one of these devices supports mesh technology and even most of their other range of products also support mesh technology. So you can always upgrade your network piece by piece wherever you need it. Each one of these has network ports inbuilt as well. So if you want to expand your wired network as well you can do it with a wireless backbone using these devices i would highly recommend if you are looking to get a new wi-fi router make sure it's wi-fi 6. most modern devices support wi-fi 6 and it makes a huge difference in the amount of speed that you get like pre wi-fi 6 you'd get like 100 150 megabits per second Wi-Fi 6 lets you go up to four, five, six hundred megabits per second so if you do have a fast connection at home make sure you're not misusing it by using a Wi-Fi 5 device, get something with Wi-Fi 6 in it. And if you really, really care about performance and you really want to future-proof your house, maybe get something with Wi-Fi 6E and that's going to make sure that your Wi-Fi network is going to be solid for the next four, five years at least. So anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the new Asus devices. We've got a link in the description if you want to go check it out. Thank you to Asus for sending these over. And if you guys like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to watch more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.